Hello guys and welcome in the fifth episode. In this episode we will apply graphics to our puzzles which will make game looks a little bit better and also more functional. You can find the link to the graphics in the description. Ok, let's get started. First of all, let's download the graphics. Uh, just go to the description below this video and click the link. You will be directed to my Dropbox. Uh, hit the download button and then direct download. Ok, the do download process should start. Open the file, uh, file location where the content has downloaded, show in the folder, and then cut this uh, zip file from here. Okay, let's open Unity now. Inside the Unity, uh, on the project tab, uh, I will right click on the asset folder, just create folder. I will create new folder resources. Resources. Uh, we will need this folder in order to access the resources from the script. Just uh, make sure you create this resource folder. Uh, go inside the folder, right click in the empty space and uh, choose show in the explorer. The window should, should be open with this folder location. Just go inside the resource folder and then paste here our zip file. Okay, let's extract the zip file here, right click on it, extract all. Extract. Okay, we can delete the zip file now. Let's open uh, the folder and move all of this content from here. Just cut it to there and then paste. Okay, we can delete this puzzle game ga graphics folder as it's empty now. Alright, we have all of the, our graphics. Uh, I have divided the graphic in different different folders. In the first folder you can find all of the buttons used in the game. The second folder contains the icon for the game. You can change it on whichever icon you like or you can use this one, it's up to you. Uh, the third one is contains all of the puzzles which we'll be using. Uh, I have divided uh, based on the, on the different places. When you open the folder you will find the completed picture and then 16, this picture divided into 16 squares, which we'll be using to for actually for, for our puzzles. Okay. And then uh, the last for these writings, this is the, just the writings uh, which will be above the scenes. Okay. And then background. This is the background which we'll be using uh, throughout our project. You can use all of this graphic however you like or you can change it on your own, it's totally up to you. Ok, let's go back to the Unity. When you go back to the Unity, you should see that the resources are importing now. Ok, we have all of them. Uh, there, is a, there is one error. Let's go to the console and the clear. That's fine. The one thing which we need to do is um, change the resource type. As you can see now, when you, for example, open the icon folder, you cannot just move this graphic inside the Unity, inside the scene. As this texture type is a default, we need to change this texture type to be Sprite 2D and UI. I just choose it from the list and then when you press back to this window, you should have this, um, this window pops up where you can apply these changes. Just click apply. We have to do the same thing for every single graphic which, in, which we imported. Just uh, go to the buttons folder now, press on the first one, I will hold the shift to uh, and press on the last one to highlight all of them. And then from the texture type choose Sprite to the end UI, press back, apply, okay, and uh, go through all of the puzzles to do the same thing. We can delete these tombs file as we won't need it okay and then change it file types okay uh, let's uh, open our game manager script now go to the script folder 
double click on the game manager the visual studio should open we will need um, two public variables uh, just scroll scroll right at the top and add public string folder name this is going to be the name of the folder from which we want to load the puzzles and the other one will be public game object um, full picture this uh, will be the the reference uh, picture object which will be which we need to pass from the editor uh, and we have to create this one okay let's scroll right at the bottom and add another function void apply material this function will apply the material onto our on our puzzles okay um, let's create string file path okay and then we have to uh, loop through our list of the puzzles we're gonna start from puzzle number one puzzle list dot count sorry e i is less or equal than puzzle list dot count i plus plus and then if uh, i is less than three then the file file path is equal to puzzle puzzles because we have the all of the puzzles inside the puzzles folder uh, plus folder name which is going to be the name of the directory from which we want to load the puzzles plus cube as all of our pictures which we will apply on the certain puzzle start from the word cube plus i plus one and then else we will do exactly the same but we will add just i the reason why we adding why we putting this line here is because um, we will have three puzzles right at the top then there will be one missing puzzle uh, one puzzle will be missing and then we're going to keep going through the rest of the puzzles that's mean if we not put this line the previous texture which should be on the puzzle number four which is missing will be applied on the puzzle number five and then we'll uh, be decompose our picture right at the beginning we don't want to do that that way we just use this line here you can comment it out if you want uh, later and you will see the result the, the effect which this line is doing um, okay uh, and then we will create the variable texture 2d texture 2d minus mat which will be holding the material and then resource dot load we pass the file path and we'll ca we'll cast this type to the to the to the texture 2d and then we'll make sure this is loaded as a texture texture 2d okay this us what is doing is just making sure it's just casting to this type whatever is loaded from this function okay and then we will apply this um, this material to the puzzle uh, puzzle list i minus one because we starting our loop from i1 which is the second element we want to go to the previous element to make sure we're just starting from the beginning uh, dot get component renderer and then material dot main texture is equal to material okay and then we want to also load the texture for the full picture for the reference image 
we will use the file path from here but instead of the cube we're going to load the pit because this is the name of the of the picture from every single folder that's how i name the files and then texture 2d we have to just actually do the same for this texture we're going to i'm going to change the name of this variable and then full picture dot get component renderer dot material material dot main texture is equal to mat one okay and then we can save it we need to call this function from the start method right at the bottom okay and then there is a um, there's one more thing which we really have to change, which is um, the rotation of um, of our puzzle, because otherwise the image will be upside down. Go to the spawn puzzle function, and then inside where we actually instantiate the puzzle prefab, get this quaternion identity out, and then we're gonna pass new rotation for every single puzzle. Just type new quaternion and then we're going to pass 00, zero uh, sorry, 0.0f zero zero for the x rotation, 0.0f zero zero for the y rota rotation, and then 180 degrees for the z rotation, and then 0.0, zero for w component. Okay, then save it and go back to Unity. Okay, we are inside the Unity now. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, create the the cube which will be holding the reference image. Go to the game objects, 3D objects cube. I will change the name for the for this cube to full pitch, full picture. Enter, and then uh, I will change the position for this cube. I will put uh, the position 5.5, 1 1.3, and then zero. You can use the same position if you like. Uh, I will change the rotation to 180 degrees on the z-axis. And then I will scale it 3 on the x, 2.5 on the y, and then 1 on the z. Okay. And now uh, we will add some lighting to the, to the scene. Go to the game objects, lights, and then directional light. That should do it. And then click on the main camera. And as you can see on the, under the game manager, we have another two variables. One is the full picture. We need to drag and drop the full picture object which we created to this full picture inside the game manager. And then folder name, we have to set this one to one of the name. Okay, we can clear these errors. We can set this uh, folder name to one of the names from these puzzles. You can pick one, choose one of which name you like to load. For example, I will, I will pick the Blackpool. Blackpool. If you open the folder, any of this folder, you will see that the, the every single puzzle is named cube one, cube two, cube, cube three, four, five, and so on. And the full picture is uh, actually the, the, the completed picture. Okay. And then after after we set all of the, these variables, we can press play. Uh, sorry, I just reordered this one a little bit. Just press this maximize on play. And then play. As you can see, the picture has loaded fine. But there is one problem. Because we're not loading the correct picture here, it should start from the black pool. There's something wrong on the first line. Let's go to the code. Okay, go to the function where we're applying the, the pictures. And then I think this should be when i is greater than 3. Let's save it, go back to the Unity, and let's try again.
Press play. Yep, that's that's correct. As you can see, that line has a huge impact how the pictures appear, and we can move the move the puzzles now, and we have the completed completed picture. If you want to load something different, you can go to the main camera and put different name, whichever you like. I will put the sun sunset, and then we should have different picture loaded. Sorry, I think I just made a mistake in sunset. Yeah. Sunset. Okay, we have the sunset loaded and uh, the game looks nice now. It's definitely more interesting. Okay, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we create the peak level scene where we'll be able to just pick the picture which we want to load and the picture will be loaded and we start to applying some uh, some uh, in-game menu uh, thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode